Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I um, just threw my hair up because I am going to make a separate video for a super simple and easy updo. Um, like my everyday go-to updo if I have to go out um, to dinner or um, for example, like I did this yesterday, I went dress wedding dress shopping with my sister and aunt and um, it was just like a, a classic, fancy but not fancy updo and it's super simple so i'm going to do that video next but for right now what i'm going to show you guys is my everyday makeup look um i if you don't know my name is gabrielle ford i am 24 years old i am a mom of two and i um am a hairstylist as well as a million other things but that is my occupation and i love doing hair i love doing makeup um we do have a visitor she just woke up from her nap but anyways so i loved i love doing hair i have a passion for doing hair um and i do makeup as well i don't do as many like makeup looks on other people um i just have really done well i'm like a color and cut specialist and so i kind of just um not stay in my lane but i just like to pick one specialty and run with it um, but i do love makeup i have a passion for makeup i always have i learned everything on youtube pretty much um what i learned in school was just the basics and it really didn't even teach me anything I really learned everything here on YouTube. Anyways, I am blabbing for the first two minutes. I am just gonna walk you through my quick makeup routine. This is my everyday makeup routine. Um, this is nothing fancy. This is what I have five minutes to get ready and this is what I do. So first things first, my face is clean. I took a quick shower while my kids were napping. Now she's up, now I'm getting ready. We're going out to dinner tonight. So um, again, this is just my everyday makeup routine. Um, so my face was clean. I then used my Thrive Skin, it's a CBD line, um, correcting serum as well as moisturizing elixir. So those were my first two steps. That's just my everyday face routine. Um, I do that with or without makeup. But now I do not like foundation. Um, I used to love foundation and wear it. I wore it every day. Um, as I've become a mom and as I'm at the gym every day and all those things, I just find, uh, I also have oily skin, so oily skin and in my t-zone if you've ever heard of a t-zone your t-zone is right here and here usually when you're describing your skin type um, and issues you're usually describing your t-zone because these kind of areas people do have breakouts and whatnot but that may be due to other things like when you constantly touch your face like this or like this all that dirt and bacteria that is on your hands all day long that's what that's from so normally this area isn't described as um when you're describing your face and your type of skin you have this area is not so anyways my t-zone is oil, um, oily and so i've found even though there are face um foundations for that i just prefer to use a bb cream so this is my bb cream that i use it is the Maybelline BB Fresh 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. This is my go-to. Um, it's a medium sheer tint. I just love this. This is what I use. So I just put a little on my fingers, about a dime size. I make faces when I do my makeup, so just ignore what I do with my face. Now, when you apply, you really want to make sure that you're going in an upwards motion when you apply. So your circles, like this is down, you're wiping down, you want to go up. What that does is it helps um, not create wrinkles. So up at all times. You want to go up. And the only time I go down is on my nose just because I do have um, larger pores on my nose, but it's never really been an issue. Um, but sometimes a BB cream can show up. So you just gotta really wipe it in. 
and always get your neck. So many women forget their neck. Even with the BB cream, we can see it. So um, in your eyebrows, make sure that it's, it's uh, blended out gently on your eyelids and up. You know, make sure it's nice and blended out. And around your nose, etc. Okay, so let me wipe my hands off. Okay. I'm sitting on my island bar stool in my bathroom just because this was just easiest. So I applied my BB cream. Now I am doing a powder. This is CoverGirl Clean Matte in buff beige this is the um color so for this i normally don't like these but for this i do use them what i do is i just get a good amount on here and i tap under my eyes this is lighter than my skin tone because i really want to brighten under my eyes right in my t-zone area just right here along my eyelids, under my eyebrows, and under my eyes. I do bring this, like I said, onto my T-zone, so I don't, I use the majority of the product right under the eyes because what I'm doing is I'm baking under my eyes. So I'm, um, what that is is when you apply a lot of product, like see, see how there's so much, I'm obviously not leaving it like that, but what this does is this bakes your skin and when you provide a good layer, um, it's hard to explain exactly, but basically it gets pretty hot under your skin and it helps set your makeup. So I bake under my eyes, let's do a little more, I apply a lot, this is not what it's going to look like. And I bring it kind of down. Like, see the tops of my cheekbones go to about there? I kind of bring it all right there, up your T-zone. Okay, now I'm just going to do a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my jawline. Because what I'm going to create that angle. And what happens is when you go to bronze, and do your highlighting and you know low lighting your face and bronzing your face this gives you that jawline that angled cheekbone like i have not put any bronzer there but as you can see i did the powder here and the powder up there now i'm gonna wipe it away but i'm just baking my face i'm setting it and also i did do powder on my eye eyelids um this is again this is my fast version but what that does is it just gives you a good base on your eyelids um it kind of evens the tones so now what i'm gonna do is this is actually clinique's bronzer true bronze pressed powder bronzer in the shade sun kissed this is clinique Next, I, this is really not actually the brush I prefer, but this is just the one I have right now. Um, but it's kind of an angled brush. So right now, what I do is I wipe it in there and then I lightly tap. I don't know if you could see that in the video, but a lot of that excess powder came off. What that will do is it will prevent a lot of the fallout that happens from eyeshadows underneath your eyes. So when you just, you just need to tap it lightly once. And then, this is going to be a little hard, um, I'm going to look into the mirror, but you'll get the gist. I am going to put this bronzer in my crease, not perfectly, just kind of lightly because, excuse me, um, I am more, I'm fair, I'm very pale uh, naturally. I love my spray tans, but obviously I can't do those all the time. So what I like to do is I like to make myself look tanner by giving myself more of like a natural sun-kissed look that's the look i'm going for for a daily basis i just like the look that it looks like you were out in the sun for the day not burnt but just like nice and tan so with a nice um not too dark of a bronzer i can get that look so i take the angle and put the the tallest part of the brush towards the outside of my crease and then I'm just gonna lightly drag in. What happens is if you go hard, the what you don't notice is see how the bristles flip up? 
that is then going to send product on the inside of your nose. And obviously that's not where we want product to be. So once I kind of just gently drag it in, then I am going to turn my brush like this to where the angle is on top and I'm going to blend it out because I did majority of the product on the smallest part of my crease like that. Then I'm going to turn my brush and just do a window, a windshield wiper motion. This will blend out that crease and make it look more natural. You very, very light hand. You do not want to press hard. So I have light fingers and a light pressure on my eyes and just a window wiper motion. Just like that. And just kind of like, so if you see, my crease is technically right here, but my brush is all the way up there. And what it does is just gonna blend that out. Just like that. And then at the very end, just bring it down just a little bit. Because if you can see, this is the angle of my eye. So I do not wanna go out any further than right here. And you wanna kind of just bring that down. It really just connects the crease color to the bottom of your lid. So I don't have a ton, but it just gives me a little crease. It kind of, if you can look, it almost opens up your eyes a little and it makes it like this. I look, obviously I have my baking powder, but I look tanner on this side than I do on this side. So I'm just gonna real quick do that again. So bring it in just like that. Just do a little bit more. Summer. My daughter is drinks her water so loudly. That's what you hear in the background. Okay, so now I am going to window windshield wiper this. Back and forth, back and forth, very, very lightly. Okay. Okay, now this is not the professional makeup part of me, but I just do it this way because it's just easy. Normally this is like a five minute routine and that's it. This video is obviously gonna be longer, but that's because I'm explaining this to you. This is, oh, I should probably tell you, um, a baked eyeshadow palette in the color Champagne. It's a really pretty, like you could almost, ooh, as I drop it. You can almost use this as like a highlighter if you want. Now what I do is I just take it on my finger and I'm going to start in the corner of my eye and bring it to the center. Shh. What? No. Go play. Okay. Now, and the same thing. So this, I'm going to bring it from the inside just to the, the center of my eye. And this really opens it up. Are you doing the tear ducts as well? What it does, it really just opens up your eyes and provides that like sun-kissed look. And then... What I do is this is a um, a very old Mac brush, um, but it's a blending brush. I don't know if you can see that yet. It's just a very light brush. Oh, whatever. okay, whatever. Um, and now I'm just kind of gonna go in the crease again. And because there is a little bit of that champagne color, this will just blend it out. A very light hand and windshield wiper motion. That's it, that's it for my eyes. Now I'm going to go back with my powder brush and I'm going to wipe away the bake. So I start at the bottom and work my way up. So I just gently wipe away the excess powder and blend it into the rest of my skin. I blend off my nose. And if you gently wipe away from your eye, if there was any fallout from your eyeshadow, um, the extra powder will come off and it'll take that as well. So that's why I do my eyeshadow while my eyes are baking. If there is any fallout, it'll wipe away. And so just gently, window like another window wiper just back and forth very easy and then i take it from away from my t-zone and then kind of just gently bring it down just so that way it just blends it out this is a very like 
I'm naturally pretty, but this is not natural kind of kind of look. Like we're wanting to look very natural, but um, you know, well, if we have makeup on. Next, I am going to do my eyebrows actually. So for this, this is the e.l.f. brow pencil. I don't think it's gonna tell me the color, but it's just dark brown, right? Na wait, neutral brown. So first things first, I'm gonna take the spool, that's what these are called, they're eyebrow spools, and I'm going to just brush my eyebrows, <sighs> brush my eyebrows up and then over. Summer, go, please, go. Okay, up and then over. Hold on one second. Okay, so just gonna brush out my eyebrows up and then over there now as far as eyebrows go ladies i'm gonna do a quick little how to your eyebrows and this is for waxing this is for makeup this is for everything this is the technical um what's map to your eyebrows so your eyebrows eyebrows should start when you okay so this like take a pencil take a whatever and put it to the side of your nose your eyebrows should start there please listen this is so many people's eyebrows are a hot mess so let me help you see go with the nose that's where your eyebrows should start now going from the pupil up that is where the peak of your eyebrow should be your peak is in here and your peak dang sure isn't back here you take the pupil of your eye and that is where your peak of your eyebrow should be now the tail of your eyebrow again going along with um how you do your eyeshadow so take the bottom to the bottom of your nose to the corner of your eyes it should go no further than there now mine are a little bit smaller but this I will correct with my eye with my pencil but that is how you know where to start and where to end remember that okay so now I'm gonna take my pencil also what you want to do now People like um, Kylie Jenner, they start from the outside of their eyebrows and go in. I personally prefer going in to out, but that's just me. I do not draw on my eyebrows. I just accentuate their shape. Um, I wax my own eyebrows. I do wax eyebrows as well. Um, I wax my own. Uh, I just clean them up though. I really don't reshape my eyebrows. I just clean up what I already have. So, with that being said, I start at the bottom of my eyebrow, not the top. The bottom is where that really, that not line, there should be no lines, but where it should be more of the shape. And then the top is, should be not as harsh. Um, and when you do your eye, eyebrow pencil, very small and light handed strokes. We do not want to look like my four-year-old came and took a crayon or marker to our faces. Ladies, that's not natural and that does not look good. Unless you're going on like the red carpet. And even then, it does not look good to have a whole nother eyebrow drawn on your face. You are just accentuating what you have. If what you have isn't good, well then you need to talk to the person who waxes your eyebrows or threads or whatever um, and fix it that way this is just to accentuate and you know lightly enhance so I'm gonna start right here light hands I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up to the peak so now you can kind of see so you can see where half of my eyebrow the bottom half is drawn in the top is not right so I'm going to slowly move up, but I am not going to go to the top of my eyebrow and go to the peak. Just like that. Now I'm going to go down the peak. So I'm doing light hands, 
small strokes. Now, from here, brush it out. You do not just leave this. This is not blended. This does not look good. You need to blend it out. So start small hand strokes. This spool is going to get product on it and it will distribute over your eyebrow. This is how you make it look natural. So go same way how I brushed it out at first. Up first and then over. And then bring the tail, not all the way down. This is not a frowny face. You're just bringing it out. So you really can't see a huge difference between my two eyebrows because I'm just accentuating, but there is a difference. The tail is more defined. It matches my hair color better. Let me come up close, except I could use a little bit in the peak. And then I go blend it out. See? I have like little blonde hairs, a lot of it, and a lot of the makeup gets on your eyebrows. So this is just cleaning it up. That's it. Okay, now the other side. Start at the bottom. I do believe a lot of women would look much better if their eyebrows were just touched up and shaped up. Not a whole new eyebrow drawn on their face. Yes, that looks good that you know how to draw perfect symmetrical lines, but it does not look natural. Makeup is there to accentuate your beauty, not change your beauty. And then up and over. If you draw on a whole nother face, I mean, it's fun, don't get me wrong. I used to do a lot more makeup and I do every once in a while. I play with makeup or if we're going like somewhere fancy or wherever, it is fun to do more. But if you were just going out to dinner, girls, calm down, calm down with that stuff. Okay, now I'm going to do my bronzer. So I have two different brushes. This is actually, this is an actual bronzing brush. It's e.l.f. I love e.l.f. brushes. I just love them because they're inexpensive. As you can see, it's an angled and it's thin, thinner, I should say, and angled. And then I also use this brush as well, but I will show you where. So this is an actual bronzing brush and I used a Too Faced bronzer. It's the Milk Chocolate Soleil light to, light to medium matte bronzer. Um, again, I am more on the oily side, so I do not like any type of um, highlighter or sparkles or whatever. I like my, my daughter likes sparkles. Um, I have that enough naturally. <laughs> Give me just like five hours and I will be sparkly. So I don't need to add any more. This is just my personal skin, I guess you could say. So I've used, I've already hit pan, but this stuff's good and it smells amazing, so that's what I like as well. So I'm going to very gently do a couple, and then you tap. And so now, where you should bronze, if you see, this is where you're aiming. You do not wanna come any further than right here because what happens is that will accentuate your smile lines. We do not want make, to make those any more vi or visible than they already are. So where you can see the shadow, this is where you're aiming for. Now we're doing the exact same concept that we did on our crease. So I'm going to take a smaller brush and start back near my ear because you want to bring it all the way back and start here. Just do a small line, light handed. You can always add more product 
you can't take it away once it's on your face. So start up here. And if you, a lot of people do it kind of like rounded with the cheekbone, but what happens is that can make your face look more round overall, which, you know, I have a round face in general, so I do not want to accentuate any more roundness to my face. If you maybe have a really thin face, that could help make your face look a little bit wider, but I have a round face, and so I'm not trying to accentuate that. So instead of going with my cheekbone in a rounded motion, I am doing a sh it straight out. This will help contour my face. So like I said, I started back here, and I kind of brought it down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna turn the brush and do that again. I'm gonna do a little bit more. And I'm not done yet, so just bear with me here. I'm gonna to go to this side, start back near your ear and bring it down. Do not bring it out like this because what happens again, near your eye, the brush will bend and then it will snap back and that will send the product over here. We don't need any bronzing down here. So gently pull and then pull back. Right there, I'm gonna do a little bit more. Light hand. Okay, and then now do a little bit more. And now what you wanna do is you want to go around the tops of your hairline. This will then help contour your face, give it more of a sun-kissed look, because if you think about it, the sun's coming down here. We don't need any bronzer down here. That's not natural. The sun would hit you up at the top, and so that gives you that sun-kissed look. So up on above the brow bone near the hairline, just at the top. We wanna look like we've been out in the sun all day. Now this bronzer is not dark, it's a light medium because again, I just wanna look sun-kissed. I'm not trying to change my skin tone completely. I do that with a spray tan. So, okay. Then last but not least, ladies, the way to reduce the look of a double chin if you have one or give yourself more of a chiseled jawline is to take the product, take bronzer, and just lightly go along your jaw. This will help give your cheeks, make your cheeks, cheeks look more contoured and it'll um, accentuate your neck. So just very lightly like that. Now I go back with this brush and I do not put any more product on it. I am going to go in circular motions, not all over the place, but just kind of in the area and buff it out. We wanna look natural. We don't wanna look like Mac makeup artists because we wanna look like we're not trying. Like that's the, we're just accentuating what we have. We're not changing our entire look. So very gently buff it out. And same at the top. Gently buff it out, bring it down. Um, if you notice, I do have my earrings in as well as I am fully dressed. Now, the reason I do this is because normally if I am doing a different makeup look, it really depends on what I'm wearing as well as the jewelry I am wearing as well. I think I said that. But uh, you also want to bring it back. Ladies, remember, this skin is right next to this skin. This needs to blend out. We don't want to look like we're in middle school and have no idea how to blend. Now I'm going to take this and just to do a little bit on my collarbone, just to accentuate that and make myself more sun-kissed. The tops of my shoulders and on the collarbone. Okay, now Next, this is a hydrate and set. It's a pure mineral mist. I just do a tiny, tiny bit. Like that, just let it dry. I do this before my mascara because sometimes if I do setting powder, 
or not setting powder, setting spray. It'll make my mascara bleed onto my eyelids. And uh, I, don't, I don't like waterproof. I feel like it breaks my eyelashes off when I try to get it off. And uh, I've worked hard to grow my eyelashes, so I'm not trying to break them off. Okay, so I'm going to put my mascara on and um, that'll be it for the look. Okay, so normally women, this is my one of my favorites. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And so what I do first is I pull it out and instead of wiping it off like most women do, I take all of that excess at the top, this is gonna be hard, <laughs> and take it straight in and go back and forth. I wanna get a lot of product on my eyelashes. So it's all clumpy, but I have lots of product. I think I hear my son's awake. Okay, so, and then I, what you do is you start at the very bottom and you zigzag up. This will help, help distribute the product as well as separate your eyelashes so they don't get clumpy. And so you go all the way to the bottom and zigzag up. Okay, now I'm not done yet, but I'm gonna go to the next eye so that can dry just a little bit. Put the product on. Go to the bottom and zigzag up. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing all over again. Go put a lot of product on. My mascara has dried a little bit, but that's okay because the, how mascara works is it builds upon each layer. Um, it builds upon your eyelashes and then to make them look longer and fuller, it'll build on those layers. So if it dries just a little bit, that's okay. We don't want it to be fully dry, but we do want it to dry just a little bit. So again, Okay, and then I am not gonna add any more, but I am gonna do one last layer. I know this video has turned very, very long, but I promise you this takes me like five minutes. And then last but not least, the bottom. Now most women should wait a couple minutes before they do the bottom because their eyelashes will get mascara on their eyelids but I don't have that issue but most women do so always wait just like a couple minutes before you do your bottom and again I'm just going zigzags and down zigzags and bring it down okay. and just like that that's it. That's all I do. It's not perfect, but it just gives me, I just look more bronzed. So my, hold on one second. Um, and I just more, look more put together. So that is it for my makeup. I am now going to do my hair, but I'm going to do that in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, please like this video as well as subscribe. Um, if you have any quick trips, uh, tick, <laughs> tips and tricks comment below with them i'd love to hear what you guys do um with your makeup and i will see you next time bye